Hey guys, and welcome back to Amnesia. So, or Amnesia Memories. Um, yeah. So, let's just jump right back in. Hey, you look a lot better than you did yesterday. Could it be that Oshin came back? Whatever the case, you don't seem very happy about what has been going on, it seems. Uh, he's been freed at least, but he said he's under surveillance and that the investigation hasn't concluded yet, and my phone needs to shut the fuck up. Apparently, there haven't been any changes in their suspicions. I see, but I know Shin would never do something like that to Elizabeth. Seriously, but their actions make sense. It would be a huge problem if he did do something. Anyway, let's open up the cafe. Could the both of you get ready? Yes, of course, sir. Welcome back, madame. Oh, goodness. Ah! And it is evening. And we're home. Yay! Oh, sweet home. Oh, I'm tired. It looks like you didn't make any major mistakes today, but you seem really down. Tomorrow you have the day off. The prep school should be off too. Shin would normally be able to visit. Uh, if Shin were here, you could talk about the past or uh, go visit some more old hangouts like before. But he probably can't come now. Hey, I just got an idea. Maybe we could investigate the accident too. I don't know what kind of new evidence the police have picked up, but we know some facts at least. Like when you collapsed, you had that memory of Shin finding you. And when the police came to talk to you, they asked if you remembered anyone coming to rescue you. Everyone says that Iki and Kent were the ones that found you, though. They seem to think that you don't remember what happened. But your memories of the, say, or of the time say otherwise. If that memory ties into the day in question, then Shin was there. It was, it's just that uh, nobody knows it. It might be possible that the police found some evidence to support the fact that Shin was there. Although, if that's the case, then that means that Shin could be hiding something. Um, That memory might not be of the accident. That's possible too, and it seemed like even Shin didn't have any idea about it either. It might be worth investigating that too, <laughs> just to be sure. We asked all of your co-workers who were there that day, but they were other, or there were other guests that helped out in the search as well. Those people might know something that we haven't heard yet. There's no harm in asking them. You got their contact information from the owner, remember? Tomorrow's the day off. If Shin doesn't contact you, then we'll just need to work alone. Good idea. Let's do that. We are going to get to the bottom of this. August 15th. It looks like no contact from Shin. It seems it's about time for you to start investigating this yourself. Nine people were staying at the Sh uh, Shina uh, Shinanoji Mountain Lodge that day. You, Shin, Toma, Mine, and Zawa were together. And then there were the two other guys, Iki and Kent. The last two were a guy and a girl. The guy was Ukyo, no address. The girl was Rika, a college student. It doesn't matter who you go to first, uh, but maybe you should start with the girls. You could probably disguise it as, a, or as girl talk. The only girl left who you haven't met yet is Rika. She's a fourth year college student. Looks like there's an address and a phone number on the information you got from the owner. Well, you should give her a call and see if she can meet up somewhere. Yeah, okay. Connecting? Well, I just hope she's an honest person. One hour later. Well, alright. We were lucky that you were able to arrange a meeting, but it's not like we'd know what she looked like even if she showed up. 
I know she was all, Sh I'm sure you'll remember me when you see me, but I really doubt that. I mean, you've got amnesia. That's way different from forgetting someone you met once. Well, I wonder if you'll be okay. Maybe she's already here and you just don't recognize her. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's her. Oh no. I can imagine her having like a <laughs> kind of voice. My sincere apologies for the wait, Elizabeth. Who, uh, who was with the super elegant girl? Oh, here comes a flashback. Here comes a flashback. I'm Rika. It's nice to meet you again. A memory? So seeing her was enough. Did some of your memories just go back? Well, I'm definitely surprised, though she'd be pretty hard to forget. It seems that your injury wasn't too serious. At the time of the accident, I assumed you were going to die. Don't assume things like that. So then, what was it that you needed? I actually have a meeting to attend, so would you mind making it quick? And what kind of meeting could that be? Well, whatever. Alright, let's just keep it brief. Well, I'm worried about the love triangle the owner mentioned, but the most important question is about Shin. If you ask weirdly, she might start to suspect Shin. Uh, so you should choose your words wisely. Um, who searched for me that day? Who? Why, everyone but Shin. Well, wouldn't it have been better to ask your friends about something like this? Uh, no, we already asked them anyway. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I was quite shocked, so I don't remember everything very clearly. But I do know that I was a major, or that it was a major ordeal. Also, it had crossed my mind that I might, or that it might have been a very unique chance to appeal to Mr. Iki. Oh, stop it! You shouldn't say selfish things like that at a time like this! And what's with adding Mr.? There's no need for honorifics. I did participate in the search for a while, though. If you hadn't been found in time, I would not have been able to sleep well knowing that I didn't even try to help. Yeah, I'm sure you'd lose sleep over it, but just so you know, normal people would say it was because they were worried about her. Anyway, why did you ask? The events of that night are already in the past, are they not? It was my impression that the authorities had declared it an accident. Why do you feel the need to bring it up again? Hmm, should you mention Shin? Shin... I don't know! Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna save just in case. Oh gosh. Okay. Shin's still a suspect. He is. Ah, uh, I understand. With that arrogant attitude, I imagine the police didn't care much for him. Uh, yeah, to be completely honest, I think she's right. I hope he suffers in hell for those rude remarks that he made about me during the trip. Uh, oh, right. And it seems that Toma and Sawa were trying to distance themselves from him as well. I wouldn't be surprised if his crazy jealousy turned into murder. No way! Regardless, I think that huge idiot Kent would know most or most about the events from then. What? Huge idiot? Kent was the one leading the search team that night after all. That man was monopolizing all of Mr. Iki's time, and he was bossing us around. If you find the need to question him, you can find him in the math lab here on Wednesdays. That's about all I know. Now then, will you excuse me? Uh, sh sure I mean, uh, that's enough, right? Uh, it seems like she doesn't know. Good day. What an intense girl! But she should- or she- blah, blah, blah. She sure did mention Iki and Kent a lot. It looks like we'll have to go to them for more information. Wednesday's not until the day after tomorrow. Uh, you have the day off of work, so we should, we should come back then. Well, I want to do something about your memories, but um, you're making progress. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm separating from you at all. 
Maybe there's something really important to see on the way, and that's what's binding me to you. In that case, the only option is to keep learning more, little by little, until we can solve this. To do that, um, you're going to need to get closer to the truth. Well, obviously. Oh no, I don't know if I fucked up. Oh no, guys, did I fuck up? No! <laughs> August 16th. Welcome back, Master. May I take your order? Uh, we, we just can't calm down. We really need to ask that guy, Kent, for some answers. I wonder what Shin's doing. Why hasn't he contacted you once? I wonder if he's okay. This isn't the time to be lavish, er, yeah, lavishing attention on strangers. Ah. Aww, as you wish, Master. <laughs> he's so cute. Hey, nice work, but uh, you seem really low, or er, really low energy today. Oh, Tsawa, well, I guess she noticed. Do you want to go have tea somewhere? I think it's better than being alone. That would be nice. Elizabeth, well, I think you should relax once in a while. Darn, it looks like you got here first. I was thinking about walking her home. Huh? You too, Toma. Um, maybe I'm just getting in the way. No, you're not, Sawa. I'm happy to go. Okay, then let's go relax somewhere together. It would be kind of rude to le er, rude to Shen to go alone somewhere with Toma. All right, let's hang out with Sawa today. Hell yes. Sawa, you're my girl. Come on, let's go grab some tea. I see. So, you still can't really contact Shin. Well, that's troubling. He's not the type that would, who would try to make you worry about him. He might just be really busy and actually doing just fine, right? I've only known you two since high school, so I'm not sure how things were between, or between you before, but um, if you've known each other for a long time, I understand if you guys were a little careless about responding back right away. Oh right! Whatever happened with the one or with that one thing? You know, the fact that Shin won't hold hands with you? Uh-huh. What's that? You were complaining about that when you started dating. He never had any prob or has any problem kissing you, but when you ask him to hold hands, he gets embarrassed and avoids it. Well, I don't know, that kinda of sounds more like teasing. Is he still like that? Or did you already give or give up on it? Um I'll try asking again next time. Huh, so things are going well. Seeing how you can just ask something like that. Huh, I'm jealous. If I was with you or with all of you too when we were kids, I wonder if things would have turned out different. No, I'm sure things still would have ended up the same. Uh, Sawa? Sorry, sorry, it's nothing. It'd be nice if Shin came back quickly, though. Then I'd be able to stop thinking about him and move on. Um, what? <laughs> One hour later. Okay, things are starting to get weird. <laughs> uh, today ended without any sort of progress. Shin has prep today, right? Well, he said they they let him go to school, but does he even have time to study? Well, I know you're feeling down, but try not to get too depressed, Elizabeth. <gasps> Shin! Shin's calling! It's a call from Shin! This is the first, isn't it? It's me. Doing alright? Sorry I couldn't contact you. I messaged you about what's been going on. I'm kind of tired. I really want to see you, but I shouldn't be saying that now. Well, you see, the reason I called you is the reason I said before about us going out. I think I should take that back. Oh, stop. It'll just cause you trouble. Just like how my dad killed someone and I got persecuted too. If I'm treated like a killer, it'll only make things harder on you. You don't even remember liking me, right? It's fine. You don't need to force yourself to remember. 
This might be more convenient. It's okay if you go and fall in love with someone else. Um. Shit. Save. Saving. Oh no! Go back to the first page! Ah! This isn't like you. That's right, it's not like him. If he's suspected of this, he just has to show he's innocent. I see. It's not like me. You're... Yeah, you're right. Sorry for saying something so pathetic. I always want to look cool in front of you. But I'm serious when I say it's okay for us to break up. If it gets to be too painful for you, just go ahead. Things have been pretty rough, but I've been looking into things and asking questions. Don't worry too much over me. It'll just stress out Toma and Sawa. See you later. <laughs> he hung up! Okay, I'm gonna try the other one just because I am very curious. But it's not troubling me. Idiot, look at the reality of the situation you're in. You can't say that. It's okay, just let me protect you. Things have been pretty rough and I've been looking into things and asking questions. No! 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 <laughs> no! Just no! I'm going the other way around. There we go. This isn't like you. That's right. There. <laughs> okay. So he hung up. <clears throat> he seemed really tired, didn't he? Well, I wonder what he's been looking into. Probably himself. I mean, come on. Let's face it. And then it's August 17th. That means that we get to meet Iki today. This is Seiji University. Ken should be at the math lab here today, right? Oh, because we're meeting Ken. Never mind. Apparently, he was the one directing everyone on the night of your accident, and he also, or he was also the one who found you collapsed. You should be able to hear a lot of those details from him. No, you need to specifically ask him about everything. Let's go. Ikimasho. Oh my. Oh, Iki's here too. <laughs> well, this looks like the math lab. There are two men here. Oh, it's you. I was waiting. Huh? Waiting? Um, the fact that he knows you means he must be either Kent or Iki, right? Hmm, <laughs> how unexpected. A girl with bandages is actually very sexy. I want to unwrap them. You can't just do that. Are you only capable of seeing women in that way? Oh, what else am I supposed to think when such a cute girl appears in front of me? Uh, this might be dangerous, <laughs> let's just leave. Where are you going? Don't worry about EQ's ridiculous jokes. He's all talk and no action. Don't even acknowledge the last thing he said. More importantly, you have some business with us, right? Oh, sorry, did you take that seriously? Don't worry too, m or too much over it, I won't bite. Without your express consent. W with our consent? So, what do you need? We heard from Rika that you were investigating that night. Oh, Rika was that super elegant girl from the other day, right? The fact that they heard from her already means that these two must be Iki and Kent. This womanizer was being called Iki, so I guess that means he's Iki. Which means the smart looking guy is Kent. Remember that. It sounds like Rika knows these two pretty well. I wonder if they're friends. Let's see, what should we ask first? Um, I heard you let the search. That's right, I was giving directions. If left alone, it seemed everyone would run off without any sense or reason. Everyone, but half the people at the lodge were just strangers. Why the confused look? Do you have enough sympathy to know that, er, that at least? you know. Or we have. Whatever. 
besides the night before, we all had a table tennis tournament with a kiss from the other team's girl as a prize. Hey, you were the only one who was aiming for that prize. I was just enjoying the game itself. Really? But the guys all seem to be pretty serious about it, especially those defending Elizabeth. That's true. When Rika's turn came up, everyone just acted like they didn't care. Oh, so that's what they were doing. Anyway, it was only natural for us, uh, blah, 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 for us to rush to help when we heard that or heard what happened. But we weren't as panicked as your friends. The moment Toma and Sawa heard about your fall from Shin, they rushed out on their own. We didn't even have the chance to stop them. It was good that they returned safely. They could have been a er, yeah, they could have been a second accident. Yeah, your boyfriend Shin realized that he could just end up in an accident too, and return straight to the lodge. He was very cool-headed. Oh, I see. So even from these guys' point of view, Shin was gone. But this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!